One of the most fundamental ideas in chemistry is converting between different types of units. In order to discuss this, we're going to introduce the idea of dimensional analysis. And this is the idea that units can be multiplied, divided, and canceled just like any other algebraic quantity. By that we mean like x or y. A good example of this, if I take the units meters and divide by the unit meters, these two cancel each other out and are equal to 1. That's what we mean by um, algebraic quantity. Also, if I take uh, the unit meters and multiply by the another unit of meters, I get meters squared. So this is the idea of dimensional analysis. In its most fundamental form, we will be using it later on to help us with understanding are we doing a calculation cor correctly or not. But for right now, we're going to be using dimensional analysis to allow us to convert between one unit and another. So to go from one unit to another, we need a conversion factor. And a conversion factor is a quantity used to convert one unit to another. So this is uh, generally something that you look up, but I need to know this in order to go from one unit to another. And with this, you start with a given unit, you multiply a conversion factor, and that conversion factor will have two units in it. On the top, it will have the unit that we are trying to get to. On the bottom, we will have the give, uh, unit that is given. And you can see if I'm multiplying by a given unit and I'm dividing by a given unit, these two will cancel and what, uh, what I will be left with is my desired unit. So that's what a conversion factor is. It's going to be uh, a ratio of one unit and another. The main idea is to make sure that we have put it in the correct position. Do we have the right unit on top and do we have the right unit on the bottom? One thing to remember is that conversion factors are really just multiplying by one and so they don't affect the actual quantity. So like saying 100 centimeters is equal to a meter. So those are in two different units, but it's two different ways of the saying, saying the same thing. The distance is exactly the same. So converting from one unit to another really doesn't change the actual quantity of what we're looking at. So here is a, a good example. I have given you 1.12 feet and I want to convert to meters. So the first thing I want is a conversion factor. This says that one foot is equal to 0 0.3048 meters. This is my conversion factor. So these two values are pretty, um, pretty much equal to each other. So if I take one and divide by the other one, that's equal to one. And that's what we're doing during a conversion. We're taking a given unit, dividing, uh, multiplying by one to get a desired unit out. So here the given unit is in feet. So I wanna set this up as a ratio. I want to make sure that feet are on the bottom so that they will cancel each other. That's what dimensional analysis tells us. Um, in this ratio, so one number goes on top, one number goes on the, on the bottom. I want feet on the bottom so I know my point 3048 meters goes on top. I do the multiplication. So the feet, the units, feet divided by feet here, uh, cancel. That gives me my end unit of meters. And then I actually do the math. So feet times 0 .0, uh, 0 0.03048 gives me an answer of 0 0.341 meters. So 1.12 feet is equal to 0 0.341 meters. And this is where dimensional analysis comes in. If I was to set this up incorrectly, and this is one of the more common mistakes that people make, is they set up the ratio and they get the wrong unit on top. And dimensional analysis should be able to tell us that this is not going to work. So if I took this ratio and got it wrong where I put uh, feet on the top and meters on the bottom, if you look at it, the units are not going to cancel. If I look at this answer, uh, a foot times a foot is going to give me foot squared. Here I have 1 over meters, and so I'm going to have 1 over meters in my answer. That's kind of what dimensional analysis tells us. I can check and see, does my answer make sense? No, the feet are not canceling, so I'm not going to end up with my desired unit in meters. So I know that I have place this ratio in, in the wrong form. So another one um, here, uh, converting leagues into meters. And so they take this up a step. Most of the time in chemistry, you're going to be um, taking one unit, multiplying by a conversion factor, and getting another unit. So we can take this up, and this can continue on, where you have to multiply by more than one conversion unit to get from your um, given unit to your desired unit. That's OK. You just keep doing the process over and over again. Um, so here, I've asked you to convert one league, which is a measure of distance, into a kilometer. And 
Here, uh, the idea is I know I need to do more than one, use more than one conversion factor because I don't have a conversion factor that goes directly from leagues into kilometers. I have a conversion factor that tells me a league is equal to um, 4,500 meters. I also have a conversion factor that tells me that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So this means I'm going to be using both of these conversion factors. Remember, conversion factor is just um, another way of um, <clears throat> uh, saying a, a particular quantity. So one league is equal to 4,500 meters. So if I take one and divide by another, that's equal to one. So really what we're going to be doing is taking um, my one league and multiplying it by two conversion factors. Those conversion factors are going to be equivalent to multiplying by one and coming out with kilometers on the right. Here we still want to use dimensional analysis. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get rid of leagues. So we're using the capital L here. Um, I'm going to take this conversion factor, set it up as a ratio. I want to make sure that leagues are on the bottom because I want the leagues to cancel and leave me with meters. So the 4,500 meters are on the, on the top. So when I look at this first part of this calculation, leagues divided by leagues, um, they cancel each other, the equal to one, and then I have meters on the top. I don't want meters in my answer. I want kilometers, so I need another conversion factor. Here, after I'm do through with this first part, I'm with, um, I have meters, so I want to put meters on the bottom. I'm using this conversion unit. I set it up as a ratio. The, the tricky part is which unit goes on top, which unit goes on the bottom. Um, after this part, I'm at meters, so I want to make sure that meters are on the bottom. So here we have meters here on the top, meters on the bottom. So these are going to cancel equal to one. What's going to be left over is my kilometers. So in terms of units, so league divided by league, those cancel. I'm left with meters. Meters divided by meters, those cancel, gives me kilometers. And then I go back through and do the actual math. So it's one times 4,500 divided by 1,000. And then we get our answer that one league is equal to 4.5 um, kilometers. One last example. Sometimes units are um, involved in kind of a ratio in itself. So here um, I have given you a unit of 50 meters per second, and I want to convert it to meters per minute. So uh, units in themselves can be ratios, and but the same idea is still true. I can um, convert, in this case, really what we're doing is converting seconds into minutes. And we already know the conver conversion factor for that. We understand that 60 seconds is equal to one minute. But this is where you always want to take a second when you multiply by a ratio. Um, you want to make sure that you have the units in the right position. So I'm starting with 50 meters per second. I want to get to meters per minute. I have a conversion factor. I needed to multiply my given unit um, by a conversion factor to get to my n unit. So in this case, um, sometimes the, the, the units uh, kind of uh, move around. I have seconds on the bottom here, so I want my ratio to have seconds on the top. So seconds on the bottoms here, seconds on the top here, those are going to cancel and give me uh, one. I have one uh, or um, one over minutes, so my answer is now going to be minutes. The meters um, stay through because we haven't uh, uh, used any unit that affects meters. So the second on the bottom here, second on the top, those cancel. What I'm left is, is left with is meters per minute. I then go through and do the actual multiplication. I take 50 times my 60. That gives me that 50 meters per second is equal to um, 3.00 times 10 to the third meters per minute.